There is a saying out there that the cobbler's kids have the worst shoes, or to put it in electrician terms, the worst wiring. And, well, that might be true in this area of Lineside Studios, because let's face it, what you see in front of the camera isn't often reflected behind the scenes where we've become too heavily reliant in this area using extension leads. And as we all know, on every health and safety method statement, up there at the top is always slips, trips and falls, and extension leads around here, from personal experience, are part of the problem. But we finally solved the problem with one of these clever Marcaddy cable reels. Just hangs there. Plug in. Oh, better lighting. Rick said I had panda eyes earlier on. So these differ to normal extension leads in a number of ways. The first one being they have a set of slip rings to pick the power up so that this doesn't happen. With a regular lead, you'd get all tangled up as your incoming supply gets wound up. And the second one, you have a clutch mechanism that makes it automatically retract. So you're not having to do this. The clutch mechanism is really clever. It allows you to stop the lead every half meters. Just listen for the click and stop. And stop. And you can carry on all the way down the length of the lead. Now this lead here is uh, 10 meters long. You can have different lengths depending on the application and depending obviously the size of the cable that's on the reel. I would suggest you be careful in terms of your specification. You don't want to overdo it because remember to get full power on an extension lead, you need to fully unravel the cable. This one is protected against thermal overload. There is a little uh, thermal trip on the side of the box, but just remember you have to get up there to reset it. To release the clutch, it's just a case of pulling the lead down a little bit further and then allowing it to slowly go back up into the reel. Now, of course, you will need to stop that at a height to make sure you can reach it. Which we've just positioned there. And this is done with this cable stop here. Uh, that when it came was at a one meter mark and we've just slightly adjusted it. So it's just out of Gary's reach. The leads are usually supplied with free ends so you can choose what type of socket to put on the end. We've paired it with a combi cube from Mark Addy with four 13 amp sockets because we're mainly using portable appliances in this area. You could obviously choose 110 volt sockets or the blue 16 amp sockets for more industrial applications. I'll leave a link in the description for the range because it's immense and covers loads of different uses, including gases and airs and even Cat5 or Cat6 data. Now for the data, they have a really clever slip ring mechanism to ensure that the data connection is stable through the slip ring. Of course, it's not just slips and trips that this product solves. Getting power distribution in large single span factories is always a challenge, and that's where this really comes in. We fixed it to the side of this I-beam uh, using some girder clamps and then wired it back to a 16 amp socket that we have installed on the side of some cable basket. Uh, the reel itself, uh, you wire into the reel here with this terminal block here by removing the four screws. You can also see there's the thermal trip should we ever need to get back to it if we've overloaded the socket. And this has even given us a chance to break out the spit gun to attach that cable to the side of the beam. For vertical applications, the mounting bracket is fixed in place, but for wall mounted applications, this can be removed so it can swivel depending on the angle that you're pulling the cable from. The unit we've used inside is IP42 rated. You can step up to IP65 versions, including a new version that's designed for EV charging leads where people can uh, just leave these lying around and when it's dark, we're back to those slips and trips. We think this Mark Addy range of cable reels has really helped us improve safety in our workshop. And I think it's got loads of applications out there in the wider industry. Now, if this space here looks familiar to you and it comes to innovative wiring systems, check out the video that Gary and Rick made on the CNOM Variabox range and check to see if you can spot any extension leads on the floor.